Welcome to Everyday Linux User. In today's video, I am looking at Ubuntu on an ultra basic mini PC. If you go to Amazon and search for mini PCs and order from cheapest to most expensive, then you will see there are a load of cheap plastic mini PCs that probably should never have seen the light of day, but are being sold in their thousands every single day. I have one of these mini PCs and the reason for today's video is as follows. Lots of people will be buying these PCs and they tend to come with Windows 11 installed and Windows 11 is just not suitable. I also want to find out what you can do with Ubuntu on them and to determine whether Ubuntu is the right distro for these PCs. And finally, I want to see if these PCs have any real uses and should people be buying them at all. So here are the Ubuntu requirements for 25.10 and you can see you need a dual core processor running at two gigahertz four gigabytes of RAM and a 25 gigabyte hard drive. Well, I can confirm this PC is dual core and it has 2.6 gigahertz and has four gigabytes of RAM and it has a 62 gigabyte drive. So we should be okay. Now I tried to use OBS to record this video and it killed the PC. So if you want to do some screencasting, think again. OBS doesn't really work very well. Focus screen isn't available and and Ubuntu dispensed with X11, we can't use simple screen recorder. So I am using the GNOME screen recorder to record this video and then I've added this voiceover over the top. Basic web browsing is fine using Firefox, but when it comes to YouTube, you can see video playback is choppy with lots of lost frames. Watching ducks in 1080p loses lots of frames. 720 isn't much better, but it is just about workable at 360, although quality is now very poor. You can therefore watch YouTube, but don't expect a stellar experience. Editing documents using LibreOffice is fine, and I created a small document including common components such as images, bullet points, and tables, and it didn't slow down and it remained responsive. Listening to music is fine via Rhythmbox, and you can see basic gaming, and I mean basic gaming, is fine. Don't expect to play anything really graphic intensive on these little boxes but you could probably get some old emulators and older games working with this PC. So how well does Ubuntu perform on this PC? Well, as well as can be expected. It uses 1.6 gigabytes idling and that is mainly the GNOME desktop. Is Ubuntu the right sort of distro for these little boxes? I would say no. If you want to stick with the Ubuntu family, go for Lubuntu. But there are other options such as Q4 OS, Debian with LXQt, Mint Mate, Linux Lite, and basically any distro with a lighter desktop environment. Should you buy one of these computers? I would generally say no, but not everyone has a huge budget, and if you just need a computer to get online, look at Facebook, type the odd letter, and do very basic computing tasks, then it will work. And that is the end of the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you next time on Everyday Linux User.